to my podcast. It's going to be mostly exciting and a little bit interesting, but mostly exciting and a little bit interesting and exciting. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Hello and welcome to this, my first ever podcast. All right. First of many, 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 I'm sure. All right. I'm sure I won't do about three and then get bored and never want to do it again. That's not going to happen. No, not to me, not on my watch, no. All right. Anyway. Why am I making a podcast, I hear you ask? Why are you making a podcast? What a great question. Basically, the reason I'm making a podcast is that I've got a thing called Bell's Palsy at the minute, which means half of my face doesn't work. I just woke up one day and half of my face decided not to work. Fair enough, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I'm sitting about, getting bored out my head. I've watched all of Father Ted, Peep Show... I don't really know what else to do, to be honest, so I thought, sod it, I'll bore everyone with a podcast. All right. right. You lucky, lucky bastards. What's going to be on this podcast, I also hear you ask? What's, What's going to be on, on this podcast, podcast, you also hear us ask? It's going to be hilarious comedy songs. <laughs> oh, I love comedy songs. <sighs> um, and some other stuff. Yeah. All right. So without any further ado, let's get your balls rolling with the first song. This song is going to be the first track on my new CD when I finally finish the bloody thing. I should have finished it months ago, but I haven't. And um, building the excitement, here we go. And the song is called, quite simply, Hey. <laughs> Well, I've been around for quite a while and I've learned a thing or two Like how to make some cheese on toast and how to tie my shoes <laughs> I've mastered how to turn the lights on and open and close the door I know the birds go in the sky and the cars go on the floor <laughs> Oh, I'm competent at vacuuming and not too bad at spelling. I know the food goes in the mouth and a nose is made for smelling. <laughs> oh, I'm really good at blinking and at doing up a time. And I can eat a piece of Toblerone without poking myself in the eye. <laughs> I can work out what the time is just by looking at a clock I know which way my trousers go and how to wear a sock I can do my three times table and then execute a forward roll I can open up a box of cornflakes and put some in a bowl Yes, I can open up a box of cornflakes and put some in a bowl Woo! Well, I'm great at going up the stairs and not bad coming down. I can hear things that make noises. Especially when they make a sound. <laughs> I can walk around on tippy toe in a shiny silver thong. Mm. But there's one thing I can never do. And that's remember the rest of this song. Well, that was Hey off my second CD when it's finished. And um, we certainly started this podcast with a bang. And I haven't lost any enthusiasm for this podcast while I was trying to put it together. Not at all. No, energy. Give it up. Here we go. Yes. Hi. Welcome back. I've got Bell's palsy. I've realised one of the most difficult things to say when you've got Bell's palsy is the phrase Bell's Palsy because it's got B's and P's in it two of the things I can't really say at the minute so I can't say Pepper Pig or Peter Piper, Peter Pepper, Pepper Peppers so uh, you won't be hearing me saying anything like that in a hurry anyway 
People keep telling me I need to do more stand-up in my act, so here goes. Something I've been working on. Why do they make sleeping bag bags so small? You know, it takes forever to put the sleeping bag back in the bag, doesn't it? After you've been camping. Why don't they just make the bag a bit bigger? I wouldn't mind a slightly saggy bag. As long as I could put my sleeping bag in there without too much hassle. You know what I mean? Anyone? Get off the stage. Hmm. Hi, remember me? Sure you do. I'm Jabba. Jabba the Hutt? Pleased to know you. I used to be so fat that no one could understand a goddamn word I said. Not anymore, thanks to Slim Fast. Slim Fast. You don't need to force to lose weight. Just good dietary knowledge. I have one Slim Fast shake in the morning and another for lunch. The weight just fell off. This used to be my skin. I remember during the filming of Return of the Jedi, I had terrible flatulence during that period. A lot of the dialogue had to be redubbed over all the flapping. Luckily, thanks to Slim Fest, those days are gone. Slim Fest. So come on, give it a try. I did, and look at me. I feel fantastic. <laughs> If I was given a million pounds What would I do with a million pounds? I'd make a nice sandwich and have a sit down If I was given a million pounds I'd build a big spaceship and fly into space I'd have a look around and see what it's like I'd wave at the aliens out the window I'd make them all sandwiches, whatever they liked I'd take lots of beetroot and mayonnaise And everything else that tastes nice in a sandwich Like cheese and tomato and ham and eggs And I'd watch them all eat with their alien mouths And when I've run out of petrol up there I'll say my goodbyes and come back down here Then I'll go on a trampoline and have a sit down If I was given a million pounds A million pounds Hello Welcome to Kitchen Corner Now One of the things I like to cook Is cheese on toast Now to make the perfect cheese on toast, what I think one needs to do is slice three pieces of cheese, three pieces of cheese slices for each piece of bread that you're going to put the cheese on to make the toasted uh, the cheese on toast. Yeah. So, um, well. What happened the other day was I was I I put I was slicing the cheese sleep three slices of cheese because I wanted one piece of cheese on toast. So I sliced three pieces of cheese to put on that one piece of toast. And but by the time I finished slicing the cheese, I realised I hadn't put the bread in the toaster. Now what normally happens is I like to put the bread in the toaster and while it's toasting it slices the cheese um, so that I'm ready and it's all ready and prepared for when um, the cheese, the, when the toast is finished I put the cheese on the toast and then place it in the grill just to bubble the cheese. Now what happened this time, you see, is I had forgotten to put the bread in the toaster. So I had the cheese, I had the cheese already sliced, but no uh, toast to put the cheese on top of. So my whole system had gone awry. So what I, I eventually had to do, because I don't like to stand about wasting time while the, the toast is toasting, I like to be occupied by, normally what I do is I slice the cheese while the bread is toasting so that I've got something to do while the bread is toasting so I'm not standing there watching the bread toast. Anyway, what happened on this particular occasion was I sliced the cheese um, but then I realised that I hadn't actually put the bread in the toaster beforehand so I ended up with some cheese. 
and no toast. So I just, in the end, I ate the cheese and um, I gave up with the cheese on toast idea. So please, please be careful when you're making cheese on toast. That's all I'm saying. Look while there's the bloody sea I fancy going in the sea I'm bloody going in the sea It's bloody freezing in the sea Really bloody freezing in the sea It's bloody freezing in the sea It's not very warm in here, is it? I'm getting used to it in the sea It's not too bad now in the sea I'm getting used to it in the sea. It's not too bad now, it's alright. It's bloody lovely in the sea. I bloody love it in the sea. It's bloody lovely in the sea. I'm sure it's colder in the sea It's getting colder in the sea I'm getting out the bloody sea It's bloody freezing in the sea I don't know why I went in the sea Well, that was a lot of fun a song about the sea. Well, 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 how about that? I don't really get it, do you? No. Anyway, I think um, I've had enough of doing this bloody podcast now, to be honest. We're getting towards the end. Thanks for listening this far, if you have. If you haven't, bloody sod you. Um, yeah, I hope to do another one soon. But, you know, I hope to do a lot of things, to be honest. I'm not some sort of podcast-making robot, you know. I don't think I am, anyway. Why not come over and say hello at Facebook? Or on Twitter, uh, Mr. Elliot Mason, even though I never use it. Or you could buy one of my marvellous CDs. One of my first CDs, not my second one, because I haven't finished the second one yet, because uh, I'm doing this instead. I should just finish the bloody second CD. But, you know, distractions. Like butterflies, they're buzzing round my head, as Paul McCartney once said on a slightly disappointing album. Anyway, what the hell am I going on about? Buy one of my CDs from my website, elliot-mason.co.uk. You won't regret it. You might. Anyway, that's me done. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.